Welcome to this aircraft engineered and today we are back yet again on the Airbus A320 cockpit. And today let's talk about thrust levers. And before we talk about the thrust lever uh, positions, let's just uh, discuss a bit on the Airbus A320 throttle control. The design of the Airbus A320 throttle control system is based upon a fixed throttle concept, which means the thrust levers are not servo-motorized. So what happens when the thrust levers are not servo-motorized? Uh, when the FedEx makes any adjustments, you do not see any corresponding movement on the thrust levers. So that means you need your displays to see what the FedEx is doing. But then on the other hand, on Boeing aircraft in general, okay, let's look at a 737 in particular, they are servo-motorized thrust levers. So what happens is as the FedEx makes adjustments, you can uh, see the, move, the, the thrust levers moving as per the adjustments or as per the settings uh, being done by full authority digital engine control, the FedEx system. Okay, now let's go back to our Airbus A320 cockpit and we look at our thrust lever position. The thrust lever movement is broken down in stops or what we call the tons. So we start our throttle movement with the, the idle position. So this is where you are when you start the engine and the engine is stabilized. Then we move to CL, that is climb. So we go to our next turn, which is flex MCT, flex maximum continuous thrust. Then after that, we go to toka, toke off, uh, go around. So, so let's talk about toka. What is toka? Toka is a setting on the thrust lever setting. That is take off, go around power. So in this setting, taking into consideration other factors like temperature, the FATEC computes and commands the engine to produce the maximum thrust for takeoff or go around in, case in the event of a missed approach. This setting, however, creates a lot of strain on the engine and the engine parts, so it causes a lot of engine degradation if the engine stays too long in this setting. So if conditions are favorable, like in long and dry runways, or if load is less, the aircraft can actually take off with less thrust than Toga. This then increases engine life and lowers maintenance cost. From that, we'll talk about our next detent, which is flex maximum continuous thrust, flex MCT. So if you go on the MCDU and we go on to the performance page, you see there's a page called the, the takeoff runway page. So in this page, the pilots can enter a flex temperature, which is higher than ambient temperature. So the FADEC, Full Authority Digital Engine Control, this is a computer system that controls the engine. It uses different various factors to compute engine thrust and one of those is temperature. So for a higher ambient temperature setting, the FADEC will compute less thrust. This is done to preserve or to protect internal engine components like turbine. So when the thrust lever is set at the flex MCT detent, the engine FADEC will compute thrust based on the flex temperature settings which will be less than toga. So let's go to our next uh, detent which is climb. So after takeoff, when the aircraft reaches an altitude called the thrust reduction altitude, the crew then move the thrust levers from flex MCT or toga to CL which is climb. In this thrust lever setting, the FATEC in auto thrust mode now adjusts thrust accordingly for the aircraft to climb to the set altitude and thereafter the FATEC continues to monitor and adjust thrust accordingly until the aircraft is almost about to touch down and they move the thrust lever from climb to idle. In this thrust lever position, the aircraft engine power is reduced to the minimum. The thrust lever comes to a rest in this position unless you lift the reverse latching lever. The throttle lever then moves to the reverse thrust position which then deploys the engine thrust reversers. There are two reverse thrust positions, reverse whereby the thrust reverser is deployed and the buckets are opened and then there's a full reverse whereby a bit of thrust is added to it to reduce aircraft speed. When the aircraft uh, comes to a stop, the crew then moves the lever from reverse position back to idle. So in this position, that's where you get the ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for flying with XNX airline, thank you so much, blah blah blah. But then, so if you notice, there's this red button on the thrust lever. So what's this red button for? Let's find out. It's called an auto thrust instinctive disconnect push button. So in any phase of the flight, if the crew feel they need to take disconnect auto thrust, they press that button and the throttle levers go into manual mode. In this mode, they just operate like any thrust lever. As in, as you move, as you move the thrust lever forward, the thrust will gradually increase. So the thrust lever remains on idle until the end of the flight when the crew get to the parking gate and shut down the engine. So the throttle levers will stay in this position, the idle position, even when they are shut down and 
until the whole process starts again when they are restarted again for the next fight so anyway thank you for watching like and follow for more ciao